M. Night Shyamalan's newest film, Knock at the Cabin, is now in theaters. So today we're going to talk about all of the twists in his films and rank them from worst to best. Hey everybody, my name is Justin here. I try to watch everything that hits theaters and on streaming services. If you guys are like me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and click that bell notification for more up and coming content. Knock at the Cabin is the latest M. Night Shyamalan film and he is known for having these unique twists at the end of the film that reveal a lot about the characters and story. And although Knock at the Cabin does not have a reveal or twist to go along with these armed strangers that are trying to stop the apocalypse i still thought i should give my ranking on all of the twists that he has i am going to include devil it is written by him but not directed by him but it has a pretty fun twist at the end not all of his movies have these big reveals the last airbender after earth wide awake praying with anger those films just are a story that don't need a big reveal at the end. So leave your list down below. How would you rank all of this twist from worst to best? This is pretty obvious, but this whole video will have spoilers for all of his movies. So if you haven't seen his films and still want to be surprised with the twist at the end, go watch them and then come back here. Coming in, in 11th place is The Happening. The twist for this film is that the trees are the one that are driving people to commit suicide. They are using a toxin carried by wind. Has that environmental message in here that it's just laughable. This is already a poor film, but when you look at the twist at the end and what is driving everybody to commit suicide, you think that it would be something more drastic rather than trees releasing toxins, way for mother nature to fight back and uh, get rid of humans on earth. It is a unique twist, but it isn't as dramatic or shocking as I expected it to be. Maybe it's because The Happening already is a bad film and I could care less how the film ended. Coming in in 10th place is Glass. I thought the big reveal at the end of Glass was weak, especially when you look at the two previous films of Unbreakable and Split and the build up for this film. But we have Elijah Price played by Samuel Jackson. His big plan is for viral videos to prove that super powered individuals do exist. At the end of the film, the Raven Hill's surveillance footage is live streamed to a private website and it is released to the public, finally exposing the existence of superhumans. It is a pretty weak twist at the end. I think this could have worked as a main plot point within the film, rather than having this be some secret at the end. It is a solid part of the journey for Mr. Glass. I think it really could have been developed more with in the film and have the characters try to prove the existence of superhumans within it. I mean, at the end of the film, it doesn't add any development to the characters and it just ends. Coming in in ninth place is Signs. I do like Signs. It is my favorite M. Night Shyamalan film. And in my ranking video, I even said that it's got a weak ending. Everything in Mel Gibson's life, including tragic moments with his wife, been a part of God's plan. His plan is to restore Mel Gibson's faith and save his family. Throughout the film, there's been water placed everywhere in the house. It's supposed to serve as a way for Joaquin Phoenix's character to hit the glass with a baseball bat and kill the aliens because uh, their weakness is water. Uh, stupid but having it connected to god's plan and restore his faith it's uh, it does there's no connection to it it's bad coming in in eighth place is the lady in the water throughout the film we learn that everybody in the apartment complex has a part to a fairy tale story and everybody believes that they have a certain role within here but the twist is is that all their roles are different everybody realizes their true potential and saves the day the film spends so much time establishing these characters in the apartment complex and who they are and some development for them. And at the end, it just says, you know, that's wrong. You're actually this kind of person. And we have to kind of adjust quickly to their actual role. It does nothing to surprise you or move the story further. 
it's just a way to flip the story and give us something different coming in in seventh place is old I did spend most of the film trying to think of a twist in the film and what was going to be this big reveal because there was a really great buildup of that mystery and what was going on in the beach. But they found out that the resort that they've been staying at is a long-term medical experiment on guests. It never really dives deep into that reveal. It's just kind of there and reveals what is going on. Uh, I think that this could have been uh, a little bit longer at the end and had a twist that uh, just ran for a few minutes longer because you could really could establish why, what was going on with it exactly. It's just kind of very brief and leaves you with more questions at the end of the film rather than answering them. Uh, I like Old. I think it is a pretty decent film, but the end of it just is very confusing. Up next is The Village. The big reveal for The Village felt very brief, and uh, I wasn't really surprised with it because I really like the beginning and middle half of the film, and we see this creature lurking in this village and scaring people, and then it's revealed that it's just people dressing up as these monsters to scare people from leaving their village and their village is set in current time of this release and they actually live in a modern national park the reveal adds more to the village itself and the people that live within it rather than the story. When you look at this reveal and all of their beliefs and everything, it just adds to some of those more dramatic scenes within the film. But then when it's all revealed and we have our character who is blind, who leaves to go retrieve medicine and we learn all about everything that is going on, it tries to be shocking but does not come off that way at all all it's really lackluster despite having some chilling moments in the beginning and middle half of the film it's all a bit of a letdown at the end coming at number five is devil this is a pretty simple film about these characters that are stuck in this elevator and the twist i've always found to be quite disturbing this elderly woman who we thought to be dead rises up and is the devil and that right there is just effective. It doesn't need to be anything grand. It's just a simple reveal. And I, in that moment of her rising up and the way that the camera is placed, it is all very shocking. Up next is Split. Now the reveal for the film has little to do with James McAvoy's character, but it's revealed that it is set in the universe for Unbreakable as we see Bruce Willis at the end of the film. That twist was very exciting because one, I loved Bruce Willis in Unbreakable and seeing him and seeing him return as this character was very exciting. And then we got the announcement for Glass and I was so surprised that this was going to be a trilogy and Split already was a great film. This reveal at the end was just a little treat for us. Coming in at number three is The Visit. This reveal I did not see coming at all. The grandmother and grandfather in the film already seemed off. They were creepy. They did odd things in the middle of the night. And we it's kind of like a found footage film. But then we learn that the grandmother and grandfather are actually not the grandmother and grandfather in the film. And they are two mental patients that have escaped and uh, they killed the grandparents within the film. The The lead up to that reveal is creepy. We have Catherine Hahn in the film and they are video chatting and she says, that's not your grandparents. And I was like, what's going on? And then we start to kind of dig deep into that. The twist is revealed at the right point in the film because we can kind of build on that and have some horrific moments at the end and so there's enough time to have more story and more creepy moments within it the twist already is disturbing 
but having more to that really just adds on to it. So I really did appreciate not only the twist, but the timing of it as well. It didn't come at the very end and you're left with your thoughts. We had a conclusion to it all and it worked. Coming in in second place is Unbreakable. Bruce Willis plays a man who is unbreakable and Samuel Jackson plays a man with brittle bones. But Mr. Glass is convinced that he has a comic-like opposite. Everything going on in the film is done by Mr. Glass. He caused the derailment in the film and other accidents within it so he can find Bruce Willis' character and give his own life a meaning as a super villain. And why this twist works so well is because it makes you think about everything that came prior within the film. The relationship between Samuel Jackson and Bruce Willis and everything that was established in the film. And you look at, when you look at this big reveal and Mr. Glass as this super villain, it adds to the characters and the story. So not only does it serve as this reveal to the film, but also adds to the story and everything that had came prior. But coming at number one, the best twist comes from The Sixth Sense. The film is about a psychiatrist who treats a boy who says he can see dead people, but the twist is that the psychiatrist is actually dead. Bruce Willis has been a ghost this whole time and that twist is shocking and it's iconic for several reasons it, that it makes you go back and kind of find these clues to Bruce Willis's life and him actually being a ghost and seeing all these scenes leading up to that one moment, that one line and everything else you start to think it makes sense. Of course he is a ghost. It adds to the character and the story within it, but also it's just shocking. It's a twist that I did not see coming. And once I did see it, I think it was in college when I saw The Sixth Sense for the first time. I already knew of the line, uh, I see dead people, but I still found it to be very unique within the film. So there you guys have it. All of the M. Night Shyamalan twists ranked worst to best. I was looking forward to Knock at the Cabin and having a twist within it, but unfortunately there wasn't one in it, which was a bit disappointing. But hopefully his next film does have a twist. So leave your list down below. How would you rank all of the M. Night Shyamalan twists from worst to best? And stay tuned for more up and coming content like this. My name is Just Watches Movies and you guys stay classy, YouTube.